Hey guys, how you all doing? I'm Paul, the tech giant, and today I'm going to be trying out some gaming on this 65-inch B9 OLED from LG. And the uh, console I'm going to be trying it out with is this Xbox One X uh, Gold Rush Edition. So I've only just recently uh, got this console, brand new. Got to give a big shout out to the guys at box.co.uk for supplying the uh, console because last time I done a gaming video, um, I done it with the PlayStation 4 Pro and you guys said um, you'd like to see me uh, try an Xbox. So they sent one over and they sent over this LG OLED and also a 65 inch Samsung QLED. So I will be testing out the um, Xbox on the QLED as well at a later date along with the PlayStation 4 Pro. So as far as games go, like I said, I've only just got the console, so I've not actually gone out and bought any yet, but I have got the Game Pass, so I will just try some of the games uh, that are on there. Now, if you guys have got any suggestions of games that you'd like to see me try out in the future, then please leave a comment below and the most popular ones. I will try and make a video about those in the future. So what I'm thinking about trying out today is World War Z, uh, Gears 5, Sea of Thieves, and I think we'll go for a bit of uh, Forza Horizon 4. So last time I'd done a video like this, I had uh, quite a few people asking me, why don't I own a gaming PC if I own a TV like this? Well, simple answer is I am just a casual gamer and I purchased the TV mainly to watch TV programs on and films. Unfortunately, there were a few people that were being abusive towards myself and even threats towards my family simply because of the choice of games that I decided to demo and because I was using a console and not a gaming PC. So I'll just warn everyone now, anything that is abusive in any way will simply be deleted off and that person banned. Now, I apologise to all you decent members of the gaming community out there that I've had to say this, but it's got to be said. So anyway, apologies about that, and uh, let's crack on with the testing. Right, before we fire up the first game, I'm going to quickly show you guys the settings we've got on this TV. So we will just head over to the settings now and uh, show you those. So TV uh, up to general, across to TV and display options and then 4K TV details. And as you can see, everything on there is ticked. So we are good to go with the first game. Right, so here we are with Gears 5. This is playing in HDR. Now, you have to excuse us if uh, our gameplay isn't the best. It's the first time we've ever played this, so uh, you have to bear with us. Obviously, uh, never having an Xbox before, it's all uh, strange getting used to the uh, different controls on there compared to a PlayStation. And so far, yeah, it's looking really, really nice. Again, my camera probably doesn't do it justice because obviously it's not recording in HDR and it's a bit hard to expose both for the uh, bright and dark areas at the same time. So sometimes it may look a bit, slightly a bit brighter or a bit darker than it does in real life, but trust me, it looks amazing. Let's uh, turn the volume up a bit here really into it and uh, just to point out as well that the settings for the TV are on the well, I'll just get it up just the standard settings as you can see there HDR standard so these have not been fiddled around with they are as they come out of the box from the factory now what I will do in a minute is change it to game mode as I know a uh, few people would rather sit in game mode and some people have uh, said before they'd rather sit in a standard mode so I will try and cover both of those. Yeah, and it does look really good. Now what I'll just show you guys quickly is what the viewing angles are like. 
if I go around the side, you can see you don't lose any quality whatsoever. I mean, I can sit down on this sofa over here and yeah, it looks really good still. Looks a little bit dark there, that's just because of my camera, but yeah, trust me, it looks amazing still. I think that looks uh, really, really good. So yeah, please leave a comment. Right, let's uh, move on quickly and uh, change it to game mode now. And there we go, game mode. Now this is again, sort of the factory default game mode. So I don't know if this improves of the uh, motion handling or anything like that, or response times or anything. Did come up on the TV when I first put it on, about instant game response. Yeah, that is looking really, really nice. We're almost done here. Finish strong. Yeah, I think I might have to give this game a go uh, myself. Mind you, I am enjoying the uh, new Call of Duty on the... Uh, PlayStation 4 Pro. Do you guys think it's worth getting a Call of Duty for uh, the Xbox One X as well? Again, leave a comment if you think I should get that and try it out. Right, I think what we'll do now is uh, move on to the next game. Right, so here we are with Sea of Thieves. And this looks absolutely gorgeous. That looks amazing, I love that. Now again, like I said before, you're gonna to have to uh, excuse my camera as it keeps adjusting to the different lights so it may make it look lighter or darker. One thing I have noticed with this game though um, is that when you pan it looks a bit sort of blurry Again, all you guys who are really into your gaming will know all about that sort of stuff more. Um, like I said, I'm just leaving it in the sort of standard settings again. This is just the, yeah, I think we are in standard at the moment. So, yeah. So whether that's to do with anything on the TV is in settings wise or the console, I don't know. This is just sort of standard out of the box settings. So whether that can be improved on or not, I've not got a clue. But if it can be, please uh, leave a comment and I will maybe adjust whatever for a future video. Right, let's try and adjust this camera a little bit here. So uh, blowing out ever so slightly. And it does look such a beautiful game, I must admit. Right, if we just keep it still a minute there, mate. All right, let's just try and get this locked into place. Right, that'll do, go on then. Yeah, oh, it looks stunning, absolutely stunning on this TV. Mind you, I've not tried it out on another TV, so uh, it could look just as good on something else. But put it this way, I'm not disappointed with that uh, image. Like I say, you know, that sort of blurriness when you're moving around, not great like that. Um, but normally that looks, yeah, really, really nice. What have we here? Again, let's move around the side. See these viewing angles. Again, that's really, really good. We 
Again, let me know what you think about it. How do you think it looks? Yeah, that looks absolutely gorgeous. So is the sea in that. Turn back round to the uh, sea there, buddy. Yeah, that just looks really, really nice, that does. Again, you, you won't get the uh, full effect of that, but that looks really nice with the uh, light glistening off it there. And then the light at the end, yeah, that looks really nice again. It's doing a fine job. Again, it would be interesting to uh, try out this TV with a gaming PC, but like I said, uh, I'm just a casual gamer and not really wanting to invest thousands of pounds in a uh, top spec PC uh, where I probably wouldn't use it too much. But still, I wouldn't mind to you know try one out and see what it's capable of. Be trying to adjust this a little bit more again. So what I'll do now, I'm going to move it to the game mode. All right, here we go. There we are now in game mode. Now, if some of you are wondering why I'm uh, making the video so long on each game, well, that's because last time some people said that I should do each game a little bit longer. So that's what I'm doing this time. And, you know, at any point you get bored of it, then simply, just hit that uh, fast forward button and move on to the uh, next one. So yeah, changing it to game mode. Um, I don't think it's made any difference on the motion side of it. Um, still looks a little, yeah, a little bit sort of blurry when it moves around. I don't know why that is with this game. Seems to be fine on other games I've tried. So uh, yeah, please let me know. Is it just because it's a console being used on a TV? Um, you know. I haven't got a clue, to be honest. But whatever, forgetting about the motion for a minute, visually, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Really, really nice. And uh, I think I might even give this game a go as well. Again, if there's any games I know I've said about games you'd like to suggest to me, but especially ones that are within the Game Pass that are free for me to try, please, uh, you know, again, leave a comment for games just for me to try and play play for myself, really, that are any good. So anyway, um, I think it's time now we uh, move on to the next game. Right, so here we are with Forza 4. And got the old Escort Cosy there. I used to have a Escort RS back in the day. Admittedly, it wasn't a Cosworth, but it was an Escort RS Turbo. Absolutely love those cars. So yeah, I do like uh, the, the old driving game. Right, let's try and get this exposed again. There we go, that's a bit better. So, again, we are playing a HDR game, and it is in standard mode again. And in a bit, again, I will change it to game mode. And that does look really, really nice. Just looking at the uh, motion again on air, it does look a little bit blurry. Mind you, I think some of it, believe it or not, is because of uh, the cameras doing that as well. I mean, yes, I am seeing some with my eyes, but I think the camera is emphasizing it and probably making it look worse than what it is. So maybe, I don't know if it would have made any difference if I would have recorded in 60 FPS or not. That looks wicked, absolutely wicked, look at that. That is so clear. Ready? Ready? Let's do this. Yeah, that looks really, really nice. Oh, it's you. You made it. 
Again, the brightness there with the darks. If you drive half as well as he says you can, that's, that is the thing about the OLED, the way that you can get it really dark and really bright, and you know, you don't get any blooming or anything like that. So let's move back to a bit of the actual gameplay now. Again, you have to excuse the exposure here. Yeah, that looks stunning. Wonder if they got any Evos on this. I'm a bit of an Evo fan myself. So yeah, again, I think I'll uh, give this a try. This looks good. I've heard good things about this game before. I'm right, trying to adjust this exposure again. And let's uh, no problem the uh, game mode. Like I said before, if at any point you're uh, getting bored with the game that I'm showing, feel free to fast forward to the next one. I won't be offended. I'm just making sure that I've got plenty of content on here so people don't say that it's uh, too short for the demos. Right, so now we are in standard game mode. Move around to the side a bit there. That does look so nice. Again, I wish you could actually see this. One day I might actually try and record one in HDR for everyone who's got a HDR TV out there. But most people probably haven't got a uh, 4K HDR or an OLED. Um, and that's what you're going to need to fully appreciate playing on one of these TVs with a console like this. I mean, look at that, just right round the side there and it loses nothing at all. You, know, you could easily have a mate sat to the side there playing two player, two player or whatever, and you know they're not going to be missing out on uh, any quality in the image. So, I think what we do now is uh, move on to the next game. Right, so here we are with World War Z, or Z, whichever way you want to call it. So, I think we are in yeah, standard picture mode at the moment. Yeah, again, looking really good, um, especially seeing how it's not a HDR game or anything. Again, I'm a bit struggling now with the exposure on the camera because the light is dropping in the room. So what I might do, I might turn the uh, light on there. And I'm going to get a bit of reflection. So uh, yeah, we've got some really bright lights up here, so you will have to excuse those. Even the uh, Samsung suffers with reflections uh, from those lights. So yeah, looking good. Again, I like games like this, the old zombie game. Used to like playing uh, zombies on Call of Duty. Again, looking a little bit blurry when it's moving there. Again, 
again with these games that I've uh, picked today, I've just sort of tried to pick a uh, few games that cover a few different sort of tastes for people there. So don't be offended if the games that I have picked are not to your liking. Like I say, I'm, uh, I'm not a game shopper or anything like that. I've not got an endless supply of games. And obviously, you can't please all of the people all of the time. So, uh, you know, what one person likes, another one absolutely hates. So, uh, I apologise if uh, some of these games ain't to your taste. But uh, maybe in a future video, I can cover ones that are uh, more to your liking. Try and get rid of those reflections there a bit. I'm still getting some off the window. And let's put this into the uh, game mode now to see if that makes any difference. And there we go. We are in game mode. Let's just turn the lights back out again. See if that makes any difference again on game mode. Actually, it probably looks better with lights off, to be honest. Let's move around to the side. Again, people wonder why I move around and show the different angles. Well, a lot of people who are potentially buying these TVs um, want to know what the viewing angles are like. So that's why I show them, and OLEDs are renowned for their uh, amazing viewing angles. And uh, you can probably see why. Get right up close there like that. Move really far around. I mean, like that's how thin the TV is for anyone who, uh, who ain't seen it before, if you have not seen my other videos. And if you want to see more videos about OLEDs, then please check out my channel. I've got absolutely loads of them. I am well known for my OLED videos. I've tried a uh, few different models now. And whilst this one isn't mine, this has uh, got to go back at some point. I do have a B8 OLED, which I've had for uh, about 10 months now, 65 inch one. And the uh, Samsung down there is also my TV. So I'll be doing plenty more content on the Samsung as well. That should be interesting as well with the Samsung because I think you can utilize um, FreeSync um, or G-Sync, FreeSync. I know it ain't the kitchen sink, I know that for sure. So uh, yeah, one of those, which is meant to improve, I think, motion and that. So uh, yeah. Again, I'm sure you gamers out there will know better than me. So please leave a comment. Leave me some feedback on what you think. Uh, is it a good combo using a console with a TV like this, do you think? Again, I don't really sort of um, need to know that it's not as good as a gaming PC. And yeah, we all know that obviously, but you know, when it comes to using a console, how does this TV fare? Right, so I think that just about wraps it up. So there you have it then guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that video and if you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And like I kept saying, if you've got any game suggestions that you'd like to see me try out on either the LG OLED or Samsung QLED with the PlayStation 4 Pro or Xbox One X, then simply leave a comment and the most popular game suggestions I will try out for future videos. So if you haven't already subscribed and you'd like to see more of those videos, then please hit that subscribe button. So thanks very much for joining me today and hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.